Hi, my name is Pastor Chikero. Yes, Jesus is coming again. The greatest announcement, Jesus is coming again. The whole creation waits for that activity to happen. Everyone, those that believe, that don't believe, one thing for sure, we will see him come in glory. In the book of Job, in the Old Testament, Job chapter 19, verse 25, he says, For I know my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Verse 26, And after my skin is destroyed by worms, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself. Mine own eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed with Within me, Job lived a long time ago. Those that are well-educated, those, those that are deep, deep in theology will tell us the book of Job is supposed to be second one after the book of Exodus. This means that this man lived a long time ago. But back then, he still believed in the coming of the Savior, in the coming of the Master. He actually lived before Christ came for the first time. But when you look at what he's saying, he is talking about when victory is won finally. That's why he says, I know my Redeemer liveth. He was through, going through difficult times. I want to believe somebody identifies with him. Your life is, 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 is a nightmare. You are going through difficult times. Your table is empty. Your friends are few. There is a, your body has become a dwelling place of diseases. Instead of having the Holy Spirit alone, you have a lot of other issues in your systems. But when all that is said, like Job of old, when his flesh was rotting away, when the devil was attacking him, he still looks back and he says, I know my Redeemer liveth. It doesn't matter how much difficult time you are going through, your Redeemer liveth, and surely he is coming for you. And he talks about when he is dead. Job says, even if my body is eaten up by worms and only flesh, only bones are left, and the bones are also rotten, in the soil, under the soil, he says, I know I will see my, my, my God with my very own flesh. He knows there will come a day when the trumpet shall sound. Now remember, we are talking about Job here. He understood the coming of the Savior before the Savior even came the first time. That's how the Spirit works. We say a God who knows the end from the beginning. Therefore, even in the then known world, in the days of the beginning of time, he still knew that there is a redeemer, a redeemer that goes beyond death. What are you going through? What are you waiting for? Why don't you accept this redeemer in your life so that when he comes, you will see him. Whether you will be dead or alive, you will, still be, you will still be able to see him. And then the writer says, I will see him with my own eyes, not other. In other words, he's saying, I am going to stand as a witness seeing this redeemer of mine who live it. He is saying, my own eyes, not other. Even though, my race, even though my body will be consumed, but I know my Redeemer liveth. Let me say to someone, your Redeemer liveth. What you need to understand is Christ and Christ alone who can only be able to resurrect you from that grave. He is the only one that you are going to hear. Not the witch doctors, not all these things, prophets that we hear. There is only one voice that you will hear from the grave when he shall come. His trumpet. If you are connected to him through repentance and confession of sins and baptism, you are going to hear him. And then the writer says, then shall we be with the Lord forever and ever. And death will be defeated. It will be a thing of the past. A new page would have been opened. May God bless you.